Is not thy sloth sufficient argument? Thy flattery, thy means of feeding? Huh? Heaven be good to me. These imputations are too common, sir. And easily stuck on virtue when she's poor. You are unequal to me, and though, however, your sentence may be righteous, yet you are not. That ere you know me, thus proceed in censure. St. Mark, bear witness against you. It is inhuman. <laughs> what? Does he weep? I do repent me, I was so harsh. <laughs> Tis true that, swayed by strong necessity, I am forced to eat my careful bread with too much obsequy. <laughs> Tis true, beside, that I am fain to spin mine own poor raiment out of my mere observance, being not born to a free fortune, <laughs> but that I have done base offices in rending friends asunder, dividing families, betraying counsels, mining men with praises, whispering false lies, tended their credulity with perjuries, corrupted chastity, or I'm in love with my own tenderies, but would not rather prove the most rugged and laborious cause that might redeem my present estimation. Let me here perish in hope of all goodness. This cannot be a personated passion. <laughs> <laughs> I was to blame so to mistake thy nature. Pray thee forgive me and speak out thy business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sir, it concerns you. And though I make a main offence in my manners and in my gratitude unto my master, yet for the pure love I have of right and hatred for the wrong, I must reveal it. This very hour your father is in purpose to disinherit you. <laughs> 